Hi, and welcome to episode 27 of the Passion and Spinner podcast. My name is Tracy. You can find me at Schnüffeltier on Ravelry and Instagram, and I will put that in the description box thing down here. Then uh, there's a Ravelry group for the podcast. It would be great if you could join. There's also a blog, which you can find at thepassionatespinner.wordpress.com. And thank you so much for being here. And if you found your way through Sadie, thank you so much for being here. And Sadie, thank you so much. You just, it was really, really nice what you had to say about me and my podcast. So thanks. Okay. I have a ton to show, so I'm not gonna, you know, try not to be distracted, but you know, I will always be distracted by stuff. So, hmm. okay. I'm not wearing showable things. So knitting in the past, I finished the last two knitted Christmas gifts that I needed to finish. The first one is the the deer. The pattern is called My Deer, a Deer Trophy, which is a weird name if you ask me, but that's what it looks like. The pattern wants you to knit the antlers in the creamy white as well, but I didn't like that. I I just like the look of this way better with the brown antlers. I decided to be to have it a, be a girl, so I did attach the oh see, there's sun coming. Um, I did attach a bow to make it a girl. This will go to my friend. Her boyfriend is a hunter, so I think they will they will like this. I hope they will. The creamy part is hand spun for me. The brown is some mystery yarn that my husband brought me back from an Italy trip some time ago, and the bow is a leftover sock yarn that I held double. I knit this on a US 3, a 3.25 millimeter needle. And yeah, it's done. I really, really, really like it. I might do another one for myself just because I love it so much. So here's my deer. I did put pipe cleaners in the antlers so you know, they can't, they are bendable. But I like it, this look best. The next thing that I knit, and I blame Laura from the um, corner of knit and tea for this, is Eric the Viking. I had this pattern in my queue for quite a while and now I just decided to knit him up. I used leftover sock yarn so he's a bit smaller. Um, the yarn that I used for the beard I thought it would you know pattern differently but I do like it. Hello Gizmo. Gizmic. So Eric the Viking. I knit him on US 2's 2.75 millimeter needles and he's going to my husband and I really like him. He's cute. I did change the pattern to knit everything in the round because you know I'm lazy and I love him. He's really really cute. So these are my two finished objects. I'm working on things. I'm working on the Spired Mystery Knit Along from Josh Ricks and I'm not done yet because I didn't have the time but I'm gonna show it. I do, I'm do. i working on the bulky version. I'm using my hand spun. There's a needle holder attached to this. So yes, here's what it looks like so far. Like I said, I'm using hand spun for this. This is my color A. They are all singles. I love doing singles. Then this was spun from a bat some some while ago. Another, all of those were spun from bats actually. So this is my color B and the sun is starting to come around so I have to hurry. And color C is attached to the yarn, the, the knitting right now. It's a really really bright sunny yellow. I do like it. Um, I think I will not be able to wear it because it's a bit scratchy. I mean it's not scratchy, it's it's very soft, but I'm super, super sensitive. So this might go to my friend who will get the deer as a, as a um, you know, second gift. I hope to finish it today because I only have days six and seven left, so I should be able to. I'm working with a US 9, a 5.5 millimeter needle. I know he said for the bulky version, you should use a eight millimeter needle, but I'm glad I didn't 
because the only real bulk yarn in here is the pink. The other ones are more like a worsted and I like, I'm like what I get. So that's important. The other thing I'm working on is a pair of socks. Looks like this. I knit this um, with my normal 40, 64 stitches top down on DPNs. These DPNs are yellow heart. Oh, I can't show them to you because it's the sun is in the way. They are yellow heart from Holz und Stein. The yarn is from Republic of Wool. It's the Lost and Found colorway. It's just a normal uh, merino nylon sock yarn. And this is the second sock. I have one finished. And I really, really like those. I think the colors are super. And these will be for me. Um, it's probably going to be the last pair for this year, which makes pair number 12. Which is great because it's 12 pairs, but for me it's like meh, because I I used to knit between 30 and 40 pairs a year. So that's kind of, you know, but that's what you get when you don't knit for three or four months. Okay. Hmm. That's it for knitting in a present. Two things, which I hope to finish both within the next few days. Now knitting in the future. Oh, and I did not talk about my bags. I'm in such a rush today. This is a Mad Bird bag. I showed it a thousand times before. That's a box bag that I made. I just seamed it up two years ago or so. So in my Bleer string bag, I have my knitting in the future and it's a pair of socks because I was knitting Eric and the yarn that I used for his head and the beard, they just went together so good that I decided to knit a pair of socks out of those. So here's the brown yarn, which is, you know, brown with little bits of orange and yellow. And the other one is a creamy white with a light brown, pink and a light blue. So I'm going to do pair those together. I use this one for cuff, heels and toes and will this use this one for the rest. They are both leftovers that I got from friends for my big blanket that I haven't worked on in forever. So that's my knitting in the future. I want to knit those socks for me just because I had the yarns in my hand for the Eric and I like them together. So I will use them together. Now there's no spinning because you know, my days only have 24 hours. So I couldn't fit in any spinning, but I have some new stuff. And I know I'm talking really, really fast, but I want to get it done before the sun comes around because when the sun is here, there's no way for me to show anything. So I got some yarn for Erin, who's mama, of, mama to Abigail. She has the Holland Handmade podcast because um, the Arnie and Carlos Regia yarn um, they did uh, a third collection and the shop she was looking at wanted to have $35 shipping, which is horrendous for German shipping because, um, yeah, that's just not what they will pay for it. So I got it for her and while I was there, I decided to order stuff for me because I have not ordered yarn, I think since Ch July. So I got three colorways. This is from the first collection they did. I don't know which one it is. I don't care. So I got this one. Then from the second collection, I got this one. The green with uh, orange. And from the uh, third collection, I got this skein. So I got one skein for each collection and that's that's it. And that's enough, actually. Really, because I will film a tour of my craft room after Christmas and you will see why I do not need yarn at all. So I got those 300 grams. Those came in 50 gram balls and there's in 100. I don't understand why they do two different put ups. So that's my Arnie and Carlos yarn. Uh, and I also got a book and I'm not going to tell you the name because I will not be able to pronounce this. 
this is the book that I got. It's by Kate Davies. It's her third book. I have um, the other two books as well. It's um, Colors of Shetland and Yolks, and I love those. So I got this one, and I have no idea what's in here because I did not have the time yet to look through, and I didn't check on Ravelry or anywhere else. I just thought that um, Kate Davies has a new book and decided that I needed it, so I got it, and I will, I will love it. I'm sure. I think it's about accessories this time. Yeah. There are mittens here, a cowl, socks, more mittens, hats. Yeah, it's an accessory book, but I love it already. I know that I will. So, um, yeah, this is the name of it. And I have no idea what it's called, but I like it. Okay, now there's no indie of the week because really I didn't work with anything. So there's nothing to show. There's no reading. Again, I didn't read a single word this week, but I hope to read after I finish this because it's extremely warm outside, like 13 or 14 degrees. Oh, let me check my phone. I will tell you exactly how warm it is. It's 12 degrees. 12 degrees plus. It's super sunny. It's... I hate it, actually, because... Tomorrow is Christmas and I want it to be 12 degrees minus, so it's cold and, but it's not. So I might just um, grab my book and a coffee and sit outside in the sun to read because that's what you do the day before Christmas, right? I hate this, but oh well. Okay, now the big thing, sewing. I did seam all week and I have a question for it all the people out there who sew a lot. How on earth do you manage to sew a lot without uh, your back killing you? Because I did sew a lot, which I will show re uh, in, a f uh, in a second, and my neck and my back, they are hurting like hell. Yesterday, while I was uh, working on the Christmas gifts, I had to um, type a WhatsApp to my husband and ask him to come downstairs to my room to give me a neck massage because I cannot, I couldn't do any more because it was so painful. So please tell me, is there a trick? Am I doing something wrong? I don't know. So first uh, I have to talk about three things that I cannot even show you because I already wrapped them and gave them away. I did uh, sew another needle cozy for my mom because I wanted her to have one. I did sew a pencil pouch for my sister because I'm gifting her a journaling Bible that will be in the mail in February because that's this, I don't care. It's gonna be here when it's gonna be here. So I made a pencil pouch and put in some Sharpies and uh, post-its and everything you need. So she can have that with her journaling Bible. Then I made a log style pillow because my nephew is going to be a carpenter. And I think I talked about this before when I showed the neck pillow, the, you know, peanut neck pillow thingy. And I made him a just round neck pillow that looks like a, a log of wood. And now the things I can show you. I finished all the quilts. I did start them, I think, after my last podcast, which was 11 days ago. But I'm not sure about this. I sewed three jelly roll race quilts. I have to admit, I did minimalistic quilting. I did machine binding, and I also seemed on the labels with a machine, but I do like them. I'm gonna show them, I'm gonna stand up. Excuse the mess behind me. I will deal with this after Christmas, so. And yes, I am wearing, you know, not my dress pants. So here they are, three quilts. Um, they are for my husband's sisters and his mother. So my sisters-in-law, my mother-in-law. And I'm going to show you the label first because I'm going to flip that over. That's the backing, binding the label for the first one. And... This is how it looks. 
That's the first quilt. I used Chelly Rolls that I got from the Missouri Quilt Company because they have like all the Chelly Rolls there. So this is what this one looks like. And that's one I think is my favorite. They are Christmas themed fabrics, as you can see when I come up closer. Can you see that? But I liked that this one is just very untraditional colors. So, quilt number one. I like I like I said I did minimalistic quilting, just some straight lines. Straight lines, I hate them. Um, also, I suck at quilting. I found that out the hard way, <laughs> but you know, this is the second quilt I finished in my life. Like, you know, I'm very new to this, so I'm good. I will, I will be better at this, you know, in two or three years when I finish 25 quilts, but so far quilts two, three, and four, I like them. So the next quilt again for a sister of my husband's polka dots for the backing and binding and this is what this one looks like it's um, more traditional from the colors and I do like the size that I got with the jelly rolls so I'm gonna try to show you the fabrics A little bit. The second one, which is my third quilt. And I really do think that the machine binding is is not as bad. So um, I'm gonna stay here. Straight line quilting as you can see. And on to the third one, which is for my mother-in-law. And here's the label. This is the only um, one where I got a wintry backing for because the other two, they just didn't have anything that I liked to go with this. So I think this is the most traditional color-wise. I love them. So, I'm gonna try to show you the fabrics again. <coughs> Sorry. So, I did it. <coughs> now I have something in my throat. <coughs> Oops. <coughs> okay. Now. I finished three quilts <laughs> and I'm very proud of myself I have to say um, I learned a ton of things first of all I don't want to do three quilts in two weeks ever again that's just stressing me out it's not what I like to do <coughs> I'm sorry um, I suck at quilting I learned that I have a ton of puckers on the backside. Um, and I don't know why. I did baste. I used a bajillion safety pins. Um, I might try glue basting, you know, with the spray glue for my next quilt to see if that is better. But all in all, I really, really like how they turned out. I really do. I want to make a Shelly Roll Race quilt for myself and I will, just not right now because I'm like over them right now <laughs> very much. But yeah, I did finish three quilts and I'm more than happy about that. And that's all I had to show and I'm, uh -huh, it's not even 20 minutes yet so I have been talking fast. Um, for everything else I have to talk about a few little things. So first up, the Guess My Whips thread is still open. It will be open until I 
film the bonus episode and I don't know when w w when that will be so hop on over guess my whips because there will be the whip shaming bonus episode sometime after Christmas between Christmas and New Year and so far people they you know I think the lowest number is 18 the highest is 44 right now we'll see <laughs> I don't know how many they, I how many I have so I I just yeah we will see so go on over guess my whips now the bonus episodes I will do three bonus episodes after Christmas I will film a craft room tour after I took care of all this mess around me okay I have to clean everything then I will do a craft room tour this will be one bonus episode because I have no idea about editing. I don't know how to do it, so I won't. I just will put three different videos up and that's going to be it. So there will be a craft room tour. There will be my whip shaming. And I, um, I'm not sure about this one because I don't know if people are really interested, but I'm going to start a new sweater quantity and it's going to be a mixed, um, braids spin again like I like to do for sweaters and I took all of them out and you know put them in a in a box so um, I thought I might do a little episode on how I divide the fiber and mix it to have a overall mixed look in the end so if there is interest in this I might do that Okay, I think that's about it. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. Um, it's Christmas Eve tomorrow. And that starts the Christmas holidays here in Germany. Because um, in Germany we give gifts on Christmas Eve in the evening. It's called Heiligabend, which means holy night. And um, this is where we give Christmas gifts. The day after, which is your Christmas day is uh, Erster Weihnachtsfeiertag, which means the first Christmas holiday. And um, it's traditionally the day where you, uh, that you spend with family or with half of your family. Uh, and the day after is Zweiter Weihnachtsfeiertag, so the second Christmas holiday. Uh, and you spend that with the other half of your family. So we have three days of Christmas around here. And yeah, we will spend it with our family, my husband's sisters and mother and my brother-in-law, they will arrive at our house tomorrow. So we will have food and, you know, exchange gifts and do everything like that. And they will stay overnight. And normally we would drive down to my family on Zweite Weihnachtsfeiertag, but this year we will not because it's too stressful for everyone involved. So we decided to just have our family Christmas coffee get together a few days after. So it's not as stressful for everyone involved. Okay, I wish you all a wonderful Christmas. I will see you in a few days when I do my bonus episodes. And until then, enjoy everything you do. Enjoy your Christmas and bye.